121 Texas counties are now under a disaster declaration in advance of the storm. Those counties stretch from the coast all the way to the border with Arkansas because there is a risk of flooding in northeast Texas. Firefighters from across DFW, departments like Arlington and DeSoto and several others are heading south right now to offer any support they can. Many businesses and schools that are having summer sessions are closed until the threat of barrel passes. We are glad you're with us at 530 on this Sunday, everybody. I'm Teresa Woodard. Meteorologist Jesse Hawila is with us as well, tracking this storm nonstop. So let's yeah. get straight to it. I know a lot of folks want to know the timing of everything that's going to happen. And a lot of rain is coming for parts of North Texas. Yeah. Yeah. And landfall is expected overnight tonight or or pre dawn Monday. That's okay. when we expect official landfall. And some of you in North Texas are actually seeing some showers and thunderstorms, and this is all from the very far outer bands of barrel. So Corsicana, Mejia, Athens, Palestine, some heavy rain there. There it is. Tropical storm barrel right now. It, it's still over the center of it. Very warm Gulf waters. OK, so it's, this is still expected to intensify back into a hurricane. Category one is what's expected at landfall. Winds are 65. It's gusting 75 miles per hour and it's 130 miles south of Matagorda Bay. Hurricane warnings are in effect from Corpus up through Matagorda Bay, Brazos Port. Tropical storm warnings for uh, farther inland from Victoria. This goes into Houston. This goes even farther north, just outside of College Station in West Livingston. So again, tropical storm conditions expected well inland, even here in North Texas, very heavy rain. So one o'clock in the morning, we likely still have category one hurricane barrel with winds of 85. You see how it starts to make landfall. There's Brazos Port, Matagorda Bay, somewhere in this general area. Then very heavy rain, tropical storm conditions will continue from Houston, Huntsville, Nacogdoches, Shreveport, then all the way uh, up the remnants will move Arkansas uh, and then into the Midwest. A flood watch is in effect for all of Southeast Texas locally because tomorrow late afternoon and tomorrow night heavy rain is going to move in locally. Eastern portions of North Texas, not including the Metroplex, are under a flood watch for four to seven inches of rain and isolated higher totals. The full timeline, the full breakdown of winds and all impacts barrel is going to bring to Texas coming up. A lot to keep our eyes on, Jesse. Thank you. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and Texas emergency officials held a news conference today. We've got three things they want you to know. If you know anyone in the potential path of this storm, call them. Make sure that they are ready. If you see a flooded road, turn around. Do not drive into standing water. There's a good chance somewhere in Texas there will be power outages, so have your phones charged and your flashlights ready.